Beaver County Commissioner Tammy Pearson has been working her cattle farm in Minersville for over three decades. That means a variety of public lands issues have had impact on the place she calls home. And it's one reason her friends and neighbors urged her to run for Beaver County Commissioner. As such, Tammy's perspective has been valuable. My husband's family owned a ranch in, in Beaver County since 1960. We run about 500 acres of farm ground, and then we've got around 10,000 acres of private land that we run cattle on. Despite her genuine connection with the community, this is Tammy's first experience working in government. But often that's what makes for an effective public official, because Tammy is deeply invested in Beaver County, from the public land issues to the emerging alternative energy industry. Oh, it's a steep learning curve. <laughs> It's, ama it's amazing how many issues a county commissioner deals with on a daily basis. It, you don't really think about a lot, you know, you just kind of take for granted that things run on their own and they really don't. There's a lot of good-hearted people and everybody necessarily doesn't have the same end goal in sight, but they all have good intentions to make, make things work. For example, the romantic version of wild horses running free on the range is not a sustainable practice, according to Commissioner Pearson. Many of Utah's ranchers consider feral horses to be an invasive species, or at least an introduced species. While conceding that federal law protects the animals, she and others believe that the horse herd numbers need to be maintained at the appropriate management levels. We can't view the wild horses as a romantic version of Western life anymore. It's doing permanent damage on the critical access areas like our riparian areas and springs and different things like that. The natural grass and the habitat that the horses take takes away from the wildlife. And once they do this damage, you know, there's no getting back. You've got to have several good water years for that to come back and try and heal. But for Tammy, it's also a matter of the humane treatment of animals. From her perspective as a rancher and hunter, there's not sufficient feed on the range to sustain the livestock, the natural wildlife, as well as the overpopulated number of feral horses and burros. Problem is that there are so many in holding facilities. There's like 59,000 horses in holding facilities already. They've just gathered 200 head in Nevada and had to put 28 of them down because they were starving to death. And it's, and it's a horrible, inhumane way to treat animals. I mean, I would prefer that they put them down than let them suffer. As a farmer and rancher, and the first woman commissioner of Beaver County, Tammy offers both a unique and familiar contribution to county government. I'm really excited to be able to help the community and, and there's a lot of the different issues with the wild horses, with um, suicides, with, with economic development, those kind of things that I've been involved in over the years and so I, I thought, well, maybe I can, maybe I can do it. Maybe I can put a new perspective on that. Tammy Pearson, just one of nearly 300 of Utah's elected county government officials committed to serving the citizens of her county. County government is where the rubber meets the road. Uniting local challenges with local solutions created by local people. We're the Utah Association of Counties, the unifying voice of county government. <laughs>